Well, don't get tart with me. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, we were just talking about tarts. Mm-hmm. Tarts, name of our... I have known. <laughs> <laughs> no. Several of them have worked on the crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not recently. No, not, no, no, not recently. No, we would never say that. No, we only that talk about terrible. our late and great, That's uh, right. long removed uh, members of the staff. Well, we do have some letters that have come in on yes, our program today. Have. This one says, hi. <laughs> Saw your program for the first time on WOUC, Cambridge, Ohio, Channel 44, one of our favorite channels. Enjoyed the candy recipes enclosed as my envelope. Please send me recipes. They look very easy and so good. Thanks, Helen Utzler, I believe that is, of West Lafayette, Ohio. P.S. Trust you stay on a long time. Winky, winky. Best cooks on TV. Oh, boy. That's signed the Frugal Gourmet. I used that last <laughs> week, I believe. But anyway. Well, James H. Landau from Madison Heights, Virginia. We, we were just very close to there the oh, other day. Oh, we weren't were, we? weren't we? Yeah. It says, Dear folks, we certainly look forward to your show. My wife and I not only are informed about new and different recipes, but are entertained at the same time. Thanks. Yours, Jim Landau. Well, well thank Jim, you, Jim, thank you, and we're so glad that you recognize that we can cook and entertain at the same time. And Jim, now that we do have your home address and telephone number, we will be visiting you next Wednesday evening for dinner. <laughs> right. And you'd better be there. Sirs, I really enjoyed watching your show, but didn't think the pineapple should have been wasted. Oh, she's talking about last Johnson. year when I did that pineapple bye-bye. Mm -hmm. That's what, but see, it was just a pineapple drink is all uh -huh. it was. And it's not polite to... To, you don't normally eat the glass that you drink. No, you drink and we served it in that pineapple. That's right. Served it in pineapple. Well, she thought she should have taken the pineapple and done some other things with it. Oh, what did she say? When you got fish. No, she didn't say anything oh. about that. Says it would have gone over better <laughs> if you had said, we're going to save this for another delicious dessert later. Now, now to please this lady, would you do that? No, because that would have been a false lie. No, all you have to we do is We were not just, saving it. We were going to have just, a several more drinks in it. Then we were going to kick it but, around the studio for a but, while. <laughs> <laughs> but, just, but just to placate this lady, why don't you say, we're going to save this for another delicious dessert later? We are going to serve the, save this for another delicious <laughs> dessert later. <use later. laughs> I don't know what the name is. Ambrose, this is the last uh -huh. name. Jo Josie Ambrose. Well, this is from Miss M.M. M. Hudnall, or Hudak, Hudak of uh, Sheboygan, it. Michigan. And hey. she wrote, First time ever got you on Channel 6 Public <laughs> Services Station that it was all, thought it was all kid stuff in the morning. <laughs> anyway, is. what I saw and heard was interesting. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Uh, especially for not socking anyone and not killing anyone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, boink. I, ooh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, dear sir, <laughs> we were watching your TV cooking program and enjoy it very much. Would like the following cooking cheap number 617. I guess we'll have to record the show. And <laughs> I have quit a few of your. I have quit a few of your re <laughs> recipes. Copied down. Miss some in this one. Thank you very much. This is from Kiel, <laughs> Kiel, Wisconsin. Sometimes it just takes longer. Let's get over here and meet the tarts. <laughs> meet the tarts. Sounds yeah. like a new game show. Meet the tarts. Well, Bly. Yeah. You can. <laughs> I'm doing this recipe from Nina Chapman that's an orange salad. <laughs> and I gotta make jello first. So uh, I'm gonna make some orange jello with two little packages of jello and two cups of boiling hot water, fiery boiling hot water. And I believe just about everybody in the world knows how to make jello, so why don't you go ahead and start on yours while I'm making this orange jello? Okay. Yeah, that's coming along, yep. darling. <laughs> we have a pie in there from last week. <laughs> it was so good, we it made another one. It was so good, one. we decided to make another one. That's right. So it's in there right now. What we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little mixture of, of uh, coating for the outside of our, of our beef, which we're going to have. We have two pounds of stew meat cubed, which I got freshly cut up. 
at the Kroger store. Did you get them to cube it for you? Well, yes, I did. Actually, oh. they already had it in the in the thing. So anyway, mm. now this thing says to do this in a bag. Now you can also do this in a in, you can do it in a bowl mm -hmm. or on a plate. Yeah, especially or if under you've the had, table or whatever. If you've had that over your girlfriend's head again, you might <laughs> want to use a, another one. But anyway, this says do it in a bag. I couldn't find one of those fancy little <laughs> plastic bags. We're going to do it. Well, this is cooking cheap. Sure. Put some flour hey, a bag in there. Is a bag. That's right. Put some flour in there, and then you stick Johnson's head in it. <laughs> anyway, now put some salt and pepper in there. See, all we're doing is just making up a little coating for the outside of, of uh, the thing. So you could you could dredge it. Is that what's called dredging it through? It? Uh huh. If you wanted to, you can't really see what's in there, can you? Well, it's impossible to see what's in there. There, it's impossible to get a shot of it. There it is. It's not worth looking at even if you did get a shot of it. All right. Now put some pepper in there too. It's just some ordinary old black pepper. Now I like quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. All right. And then what you do is you take your, your stewing <coughs> beef and we're gonna open I it up. I didn't mean to do it, Your Honor, but I've gotten choked up over all this. I heard, what show was I watching the other day? I forget what it was, one of those high price network shows that the guy says, excuse me now, I'm getting ready to cough. And, oh, I know, it was Dick Clark on the uh, Pyramid <laughs> show the other morning. And, and he turned around and went, they cut him off. I mean, you can still see him, but- You he mean just, just like- They cut his mic. <coughs> they don't do that here. Oh. All right, okay. take this now. I, I would suggest you do a little of, little of it at a time. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm heating some, uh, some uh, oil up on the stove. Now just, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> How humiliating. Now just take that and put it in there and just do it around. <laughs> oh, it looks real attractive, doesn't it? Now you see when it comes out, now you could have done that in a bowl and it wouldn't have been no difference. Hey Bly, what? while you're doing that, maybe they could let me show them the next step Oh, okay, go ahead. You know how you put ice cubes in jello to make it set up faster? Well, we're going to use a, a little can of frozen orange juice that is still frozen and put that down into the jello so that it will set up real fast. So that's all I wanted to say, and that's real easy to do, and you can go back and watch Larry Fry's meat. Well, I'm still doing my thing here with the bag. A big plastic bag is the best way to go with this, but we just can't afford plastic down here. It's gotten so darned expensive. Roll that stuff around in there. <laughs> and I mean, they had to give up using that, that brown paper bag for other purposes <laughs> so that you could have it for that. Yeah, there's a couple of winos be doing without that. All Not right. to mention what they're doing back in the back in those little rooms. And put that in hot heating oil and fry it up real fast. That's what we're gonna do. And while that's frying then, we will get ready with, uh, by chopping up a large onion and six large carrots and three quarter inch pieces. That's what I'm gonna do right here, okay. right now. That I've got all that mess out of the way. Turn that thing up on high. I need to fry that real fast. That's Did darling. you want this one on high? No, I didn't turn it on. I don't believe I did. I swear I don't think I did. I think you did. I'm trying to burn my hand. Hadn't off. got enough pepper on it. Now look, let me tell you something. A lot of people have died from eating too much salt, but I've never known anybody that ever died from eating too much pepper. Aunt Mary Margaret did. She oh did. no, I might have known. Yeah, she had a seizure while <laughs> eating a pepper pot stew. <laughs> Just took her right on away from there. <laughs> Put her right in the... Now, wait a minute. Go ahead and show them how to peel that onion. I don't... Don't I'm cut gonna... through the root. That's where the tears are. <laughs> I'm going to peel it anyway. I feel like wrote it last it. week and told us that. <laughs> I'm too old to learn new tricks about onions. Been cutting onions since I was about... Well, well we're know. glad you're not too old to cut the onion. <laughs> And I'm just sitting here diddling in this jello. Oh, I was going to say, that certainly <laughs> is an exciting recipe you got, Johnson. That's just real exciting. Well, this is one of those recipes that there's not a whole lot to. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one has a whole lot to it if you'd ever get to it, but I'm just waiting on things right now, and you can't hurry it up. You just, there are two things you can't hurry. You can't hurry frying meat, and you can't hurry love. 
Oh. It's true. Can't hear but I am frying. It's starting to get uh, it's starting to get brown there on one side. But while that's doing that, I'm going to chop up one large onion. Now you'll notice I have two onions here. But that's because we're down to the end of this series, this season series, and we're getting a little low on provisions. Uh -huh. So I don't have a large onion. I have two medium-sized onions. See? So I'm just going to chop two of those. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. How's that pie coming along back there, Johnson? Oh, it looks all right. How long's it got yet? Mm, I don't know, a little while. I'm powerfully nervous that you're going to burn that thing up right well, here on I'm the program. I'm afraid that the uh, what? That the uh, oven isn't uh, doing right. You know, we wouldn't be. I think my other little thing is okay. Here, let me pull it out. And also got to do some carrots, too, while we're at it. Excuse me, I just let that thing fly, and it just went halfway across the kitchen. Don't slip on it now. I hope he doesn't slip on it. I think that pie can go just a little bit longer, but not much. Well, this beef is starting to get nice and brown. And that's what we need. And in just a little bit here, we'll put some of the other goodness in there. This is a sweet and sour stew. I don't believe I told you that. I forgot to tell you. So you combine your flour, salt, and pepper in a bag, mix that all up, coat it, and brown it in oil. And then we'll combine the other ingredients except the onions and carrots and we'll add it to the meat. And I'll tell you what that is in a few minutes, but I'm not going to tell you right now because I have to sneeze. Oh. But I'm not going to. <sighs> Johnson, are you ever going to do anything? Well, I'm just playing over here in the stove. The now, the next thing we have to do is I've got two cans of mandarin oranges. Mandarin oranges, and they have to be drained. Thus the term mandarin oranges. Right. I get it. And these are two small cans. They are too small. These are, what are they, 8 ounce, 11 ounce cans of the mandarin oranges. Excuse me, this thing dried out a little. I got too much uh, flour. flour in there and it got to drying up on me. So it's, not, whew, so it's not going like it should be, so I've had to add a little more oil to it. Otherwise, Johnson and I could have eaten this stuff raw in a couple of minutes. And I'm not looking forward to that. Meanwhile, back at the old chopping board, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you do have to chop onions for this. People say they get tired of watching us chop onions, and I get tired of doing it. But what can you do? Now, I also have to have a small can. This is a 15 and a half ounce can of crushed pineapple. However, it does not get drained. Doesn't get what? Drained. Oh. You know how you drain something? Like a radiator? Uh-huh. Woo, boy, isn't that looking pretty. Brown on the outside. Woo, it's going now. It really is. These onions are getting tough. Now, it's these babies nice go over here. Now, Larry, while we're messing around with that stuff, I'm going to make up some more stuff here. I have to have a thing, a dream whip. Oh no, not another dream uh, rip, yeah. rip recipe. Dream so I have to have recipe. this package of dream whip. <laughs> Almost as bad as you and those breadcrumbs. <laughs> and to this I need to add one half of a cup uh -huh. of cold milk. Well, you're being right and precise about it. Normally, you just slop that stuff in there well, and go I on. I want it to come out reasonably right. <laughs> so there's that. And where's my trusty? Oh, did I, I got to put a half a teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla extract in it. Please use pure vanilla. That other stuff is nasty. It's Which would be what? Imitation? Imitation. And of course, there's that highly dangerous artificial vanilla from down uh, Mexico. Mexico way. That has been known to take a couple of people out permanently. Take them on away from here. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So <laughs> don't mess with that Mexican vanilla. Okay, I've got to add a couple of things in here if I can while you're doing that. This thing looks me. like it's got kind of loose since I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Oh, can I go? Oh, all right. Add to this a cup of water. A cup of water. A uh, half a cup of catsup. Oh, I gotta have more time than that. <laughs> Start the show over again. We may have to go into part two on this one. It'll take this long to get stuff out. <laughs> Stick that in there. That's catsup. And then a uh, 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 quarter cup of brown sugar. This is your sweet and sour part. Whenever you have something that calls for vinegar and catsup and brown sugar, you can be almost assured that it's going to be sweet and sour something or the other. And I believe it's still sealed up. You know, anymore they seal things. Oh, just stop that. There you go. There's that. <laughs> this has become the biggest mess. All that stuff was turned into gravy and it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Let me get some more water and put it in. This is terrible. Not supposed to get that thick. Now, quarter cup of vinegar. What have you done? We have a Quarter cup of vinegar. Be real careful about it. There that is. And uh, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Where Up is one? it? Anytime you have Worcestershire shire sauce, you know that's going to be something too. I believe my and, pie is ready. And then, oh, it's pretty as a picture. <laughs> it is a picture. Now, what you do at this point is Look you at this blazing hot chocolate pie. Oh, it is <laughs> <laughs> lovely. From last week, isn't that amazing? Stranger than fiction. Stranger than friction. All right, now, after that has gone covered and severed for 45 minutes. You mean it's not going to be fit to eat today? Now hang on. Yeah, it's time. Then you add the onions and the carrots. See? Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's starting to smell sweet and sour now, too. Now, wait a minute. While you're doing that, over here, I'm going to make now a, a small box of lemon instant pudding. That includes two cups of milk in it. All right. And then you sever this thing. All right, did you see what I added there? I, I'm not sure I know myself. Who's on first? <laughs> what are you doing? What? Oh, are you still continuing? Mm. All right. Oh, and then, after you put that in there, you cover it and simmer it for 45 minutes. Now it's up, back up to you. Well, I'm making I'll up this it. fine instant pudding, and it has to be whipped into submission in two minutes or less. This is the topping for the jello that I'm making up in that other bowl that's now in the freezer, so it'll coagulate a little bit. Yeah. Coagulate. What are you going to do with that extra pie you made? I'm going to take it home. Oh, you surely mean, you jest. You, you mean don't... you're not going to share it with our staff? No. Who has worked diligently all season to make you look good? I and look good sound anyway. sound fairly good for the most part? Fairly good. This stuff is not... Oh, man. How is that stuff doing that's cooking in your instant cooker over there? I don't know. It's almost 5 o'clock and I want to get home. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> well, now, this stuff is beginning to set up on me. This stuff. There's water in this pie. Anyway, I'm afraid a little water went over into your pie. I didn't mean it. Huh. 
it did. It went just splashed right over there. Oh, this is bubbling up. It's just real pretty. Can we get to the recipes yet, or are you still uh -huh. working on yours? Yeah. How much more do you have to do? Mm -hmm. You still got 15 cans open yet. I'm oh. a little worried about whether he's going to get through with this program by the time the program is through. Well, now the jello has gotten kind of Ooh, oh. The reason, by the way, you have to cook this for so long, anything that's sweet and sour, mm -hmm. you have to cook for a good while to get that, right. that vinegar taste out of it. Okay. Well, now, once my jello has started to set up, and it has. Oh, I, it's setting up and doing tricks. I have uh, <laughs> added now the two cans of mandarin oranges. Uh-huh. And the, the, biggest the mess can I've of crushed pineapple. I've never seen such a mess in my life. Except that time a bunch of people came out here and tried to square dance. And that little girl air. got sick. And that little girl got <laughs> sick and ran down the hall. Except for those two things, I've never seen such a now, mess. Now, what you do is you, you take this over to the frigid air. Watch it. Boy, you'll get a toast on the head. <laughs> and then here it is after it is completed and done. And well, how so about very, it comes out square? That's, am that's amazing. That just amazes me how you do that. Well, now, we're not finished, though. Oh, oh, oh. Well, see, well, now you better we, hurry up. We only got what, three minutes. What we have to do now is, well, maybe we put up the recipe. I've added the Dream Whip over here on this other bowl now to the lemon pudding. Yeah. And you have to mix those together. That's what where you get the topping for this mess. This, this is what you would carry to the Methodist Church. To the what? On Sunday night, to the potluck supper. Oh, the potluck. Uh huh. Yeah. You mix this stuff up together here. Oh, and, Nelly. Uh, have we, got, have, we haven't had the recipes. Maybe the folks out there at TV land like to see what these recipes are all about. Yep. The sweet and sour stew, a quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of salt, dash of pepper, two pounds stew meat, cubed, quarter pound of oil, fry all that up. Put in there a cup of water, a little catsup, brown sugar. Quarter cup of vinegar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, chopped onion, six large carrots, three quarter pieces, and cook that stuff slowly for 45 minutes. And uh, I need a knife. And the orange salad. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? It's two small packages of orange uh, gelatin, two cups of hot water, a small can of frozen orange juice, two cans of mandarin oranges, uh, one can of crushed pineapple undrained. And next page. I'm a little undrained oh, they've, myself. They've, oh, that's it. Oh, that's oh, it. Okay, that's all you get. And well, there's some dream whip and and well, uh, it's too much. The top on it. It's too much. The, and we cut it out. Lemon pudding and dream whip, and you mix all that mess together, and this is what you get over here. This is the abridged version of the recipe. I think so, we got to get to the table. All right. <laughs> oh my heavens! Oh, it just looks so good. And well, now you raw. know we're not going to eat that stuff. <laughs> well, now wait a minute. The meat is cooked. It is. It was totally cooked. You eat it raw in a restaurant, what's the difference? All right, why did you want a knife to do that? Well, I, I don't you think a spoon would have been more appropriate? Well, I'm gonna try this anyway. Just to tell you what it's all about. Mmm, it's good and it's done too, by the way. The carrots, on the other hand, are a little on the raw side. That's good. The, the orange jello is real good. Let me try the orange shell. Oh, it's so slippery. So difficult to. Let me try to... some of this stuff. Hmm. Raw mm. meat. Ugh. It is not raw. Uh, Look at it. Inside. It's, to ah! it's totally well, done. Sorry. Totally done. Well, why is it so tough? Just the, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> but then so is the jello. <laughs> what can I do? What's his excuse? That's just real good. Uh-huh. It? It's delicious. <laughs> Goodbye.